Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a program that takes in a two-dimensional list um, and it will add all the even numbers in that two-dimensional list. Alright, so say we have a two-dimensional list like this and in it contains another list um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we add all the even numbers, that is 2, 4, and 6, we will get 12. So the whole purpose of this program is to add all the even numbers in the two-dimensional list and um, print out the output. So we have a list x's and um, the index of x's, x's is a list, the index of x's is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, right now we only have 0 and 1 and the list inside the list x's which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is counted as index 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Alright, if we had, um, so we have to consider two things. First, the index of the outer, um, outer list and the index of the inner list. Alright. So let's get started. So first I would um, declare a variable that would that will hold the value after adding all the even numbers. So I can say like total equals zero. Um, total equals zero. And then I would um, iterate over the outside uh, outer list. So I can write for i in range len of excess and now I will iterate over the inner list. So outer list is excess, inner list is um, this list, one, two, three, four, five, six, All right? So I would say for j in, for j in excess of i, so this is a um, simple for loop to iterate over a list. Um, but this for loop will iterate over the um, over the index of the so um, excess of i say i is zero right this is the first index so this will iterate over excess which is this list of zero which is this list so it will iterate so j will be like zero which is one then uh, one would be two two would be three then it will go back then it will go into this one. Uh, number one all right so when I when I do uh, visual execution I will like go through step by step what the code is doing and then I will check if the number is even how do we check the number is even so when we divide a number by two if there is no remainder that means the number is even right and the way we check um, uh, if it's there's a remainder or not we do the um, module mo, uh, modulo sign which is this one you can say percent so if j uh, module 2 is equal to 0 that means um, it is even then uh, we would um, we would add that number to total to total plus equals j okay and then um, we would print print um, total all right, um, so this code is checking. Let me put brackets in. So this, so if this code is checking if j. So j will be the numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six. So if this is checking if j um, divide by two, if there are any remainders. So if there are no remainders, that is equal zero. Then it's an even number. Add that number to total. All right. Let me hit execution and then I will walk through what this code is doing. So right now it's pointing to excess, that is a list. So excess point to a list. Um, so excess points to this list, uh, one list, one dimensional list. This one dimensional list holds another one dimensional list inside that list. So zero, this is index zero. So zero holds this um, list, one, two, three, and then um, this list, uh, this index one holds this list. Okay, and then we declare a variable total. Total is zero, and then we're gonna iterate over 
the list x is which is this one we're going to iterate over this one this list 0 and 1 so right now i is 0 which is point which is this uh, this index so this index points to this list right so now j will be j would be uh, 1 why is j 1 because uh, this code here excess of i which is 0 so excess of 0 is this one right so excess of 0 points to uh, this list uh, so and the value is 1 right and then it will check if 1 module 2 equals 0 is 1 divided by 2 is the remainder 0 no so this is not an even number right now j would be 2 why is j 2 because excess of i is 0 that is excess of i is excess of 0 is this one excess of 0 holds this list right so then j will go from um, 1 2 3 right so now j becomes 2 so 2 divided by 2 equals 0 yes the remainder is 0 so that means 2 is an even number so add 2 to total so total would be 2 now go back again are we done with this list no we have one more number to go so j is 3 right now so now divide 3 uh, by 2 um, so the quotient is not 0 and then go and, and then this list is done all right so now j would be now i would be 1 i goes to this list and then j would be 4 all right 4 divided by 2 is there any remainder no remainder that means it is a uh, um, even number and then add 4 to total and then iterate again then i j becomes 5 j is now here then 5 divided by 2 there is a remainder that means it is not an even number it's an odd number and then add and then go to the next one that is 6 so j becomes 6 6 divided by 2 equals 0 right no remainder that means it is an even number add that to total and then um, we are done with this list inside list then it will go up to up to see if there are any more outer list uh, remaining so no list remaining uh, and then it will exit and then it will go to the next line print statement saying print total it would print 12 on the screen all right, and then you can um, you can do the same thing as um, for odd numbers. You just simply have to check for ones. Okay, or you can you can do not equal zero. That means if the remainder is not zero, that means it's an odd number, right? And now if we hit execution, um, so every time it will hit an odd number, uh, this total is gonna update. All right, so it will be like so one is the odd number one and then two is not an odd number three is an odd number so one plus three would total be four right here and then five is an odd number so four plus five would be nine right here total and then this that's about it it will exit and print nine on the screen all right so this was a simple um program dealing with two dimensional list um if you have enjoyed the video Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Alright, till then, take care. Bye.